Hey guys, Liquid here, and welcome to a new Let's Play. One that's that I've, one that I've been very excited to start. And before we Let's Played Uncharted Drake's Fortune, which I was oh, I Let's Played the on um, the PlayStation 3 version, and today we'll be we will be convinced commencing the sequel, Uncharted 2: Among Thieves, which now as you, as you can possibly see because of the video is a nice. 1080p, 60 frames per second. I'm actually playing the PS4 version, the um, un Nathan Drake Nathan Drake Collection version that has all three games, excluding uh, four, but it has like the original trilogy. So let's begin because this is all, honestly this is my favorite of the, of the trilogy. I think I only ever played through three once, so I can't remember too much about it. But man, two, that's some memories. Let's see what our options are real quick. These are st our st stuff. Okay, let's go. Dagger loading screen. Sure that we're a treasure hunter and whatnot. Right. I may I may have like started the game to like continue or like, like I started the game to like test some stuff out or see how it looked and whatnot. But for the most part, this is gonna be. Obviously, I've played the PS3 version a lot, but but I've not I've not played through the um. This version and its glorious 1080p 60 goodness. We're really playing normal. Cause I'm a normal fella. Let's just overwrite. So hopefully the game runs well. I've actually I was kind of hold, putting this all on putting this off honestly because um I didn't really up until now my I didn't know if my computer could handle recording at 1080p 60. But I recently actually got a new graphics card and whatnot. I did not tell half of what I saw, for I knew I would not be believed. Marco Polo on his deathbed, 1324. I remember that that quote when I first read that quote in like 2009 when I first played this game. That, that just blew my mind. It was like, did he really say that? Which apparently, that that is, I'm not sure if it's, if he really did say that, but th that is not something that this game made up. Man, this game. This looks beautiful. Uh, obviously, the, the side of Nathan Drake in great torment and agony is not beautiful, but man. I'm gonna put it. Okay then. I swear. We are quite literally between a rock and a hard place. Alright, so let's. So some sort of accident has occurred. We're suspended from a cliff. Quite, quite literally, a, we're beginning on a cliffhanger. Is you, you, you could say. That's that's even the right way. And so a lot of this game, as you can, as you can see, as we have here, a lot of this game takes place in very snowy environments, which honestly probably contributes to it being my favorite. Because I I just love snow levels in video games. Like, uh, there's, there's just something so... I just feel, this, I feel a nostalgia with a snow level. Oh! Honestly, the fact that you were able to survive that you get a thumbs up for me because that, that was a literal a boulder was literally just flying at you and you somehow just hang on like even if it didn't actually hit him directly man like the, the terror oh the terror the most the you must have felt Man. Plus, and all this, you know, never mind the train, never mind all this stuff. Can't really tell which 
what I'm trying to jump onto here, but let's try it. Press that window. Okay, okay. Maybe, maybe not. You know, never mind the train, all this and all that. The fact that we're in this weather, it, like like Nathan does not look equipped. No, no gloves, no jacket. What's going on? Oh, this is pretty cool. Like the other passengers of this train are okay. Let's. A lot, a lot of these games is like just like trying to figure out where to jump onto next. Ooh. Controller vibrating. Whoa, 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 I didn't... Okay, <laughs> that was anticlimactic. I can confirm that one of the characters on that... Oh, is... The characters on this writing here... Let's have some sort of Chinese uh, characters, so... Probably somewhere in Asia, perhaps. You, you can pinpoint. Okay, so I'm not sure. The next time we'll have to jump a bit sooner. The game—that's the, the, the game's way. Is to, the game's way of telling us to. Oh man, that's scary. What? The game's way of telling us to, to jump a bit sooner is to kill us. Um. Okay. Yeah. Let's. We want to make actual progress here. Usually, I feel like... Like, the game kind of... Does do a good job of telling you, like... Here, because our hands stay on the rail... It tells us that there's nothing to the left, but... Here... He does put his, put his arms out, you know, towards... What he can jump to. So here's where we died, died last time. I don't think there were any quick time events like in the first game, or at least there are very few. Oh, let's see. Just j jump immediately. Just jump immediately. <laughs> oh. Could have been us. That was us. <laughs> Man. I'm not sure if, the, if they like redid the footwork for the, re for the remake or whatever, but it's kind of interesting. I noticed that Nate's foot there, like, he seemed very, like, adamant about, like, not, you know, having the video game foot thing where your foot's just hanging off the ledge. Ooh, we're almost at the top. Um, can I... I want to go back. Do I want to go down here? What? I guess something's moving. I'm afraid. Let's see if I. Oh, that's. <laughs> you learn by doing, fellas. By jumping off that cliff into the pit below. I. I learned that. that okay, okay, I was just drumming in the wrong wrong spot. I like how our, like, like Nathan's actually, like his pants are actually getting white. Oh. Yeah, that, that time I, I blame it on, I was actually looking, I was actually looking away just to make sure the video was recording. 
properly. Let me jump. Okay. Oh, oh no, oh. of in media res as they call it folks buy me a drink sailor Harry Flynn hey what the hell are you doing here I'm looking for you mate uh oh should I be flattered or worried maybe a bit of both <laughs> come here I've got a job for us really a client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. All right, I'm listening. Now, you're not gonna like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No, no. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. <laughs> Hello, Harry. Chloe here's one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. Right, look. I've got it all figured out. We go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall run across the rooftops and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Burns a nice flame. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands and by the way this is not worth any of it but there's more how's your 13th century latin mate where'd you get this borrowed it from the files of the nutcase <laughs> in trebizond we were set upon by thieves father mafeo and i were robbed of our greatest treasures this was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I know, someone want to fill me in? Yeah, some, Drake's a bit of a ta some talent there, just to translate Latin like that. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later, with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters the, the fate, fate of, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. So... We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn Absolutely. straight. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> oh, and now we're back to Pat the, the past or present past, whatever you want to call it, future. That's a good good view. 
I'm getting, um... Oh man, look at that. Oh, that's a beautiful just... Moving the snow around. I wonder if it actually makes, makes marks in the ground. Oh no, it does not. Really. It's all some sort of, yep, some sort of relic. Treasure. Ooh. Trees are our enemy. I'm getting um, on my recording software. I'm getting an option saying something like the, in the encoder being overloaded. So I'm not sure if the video is actually being affected by it, but I'm just going to keep recording just to. So we have some footage or whatever. And this looks beautiful. Yeah, so we've been. Well, let's get by the fire, honestly, because this is probably. I want to know, like, if you were seriously. If, so, if a human being were, like, nearly frozen. You know, frostbite and all that, and they were to literally just jump into some fire for like a split second. Would that do damage? Like, or would that just be like the most amazing feeling thing ever? <laughs> that must be oil or something. Got a fella. Got a gun. Got a fella's gun. Gotta get a good look at this fellow and has a mouse. I can get I can get options to Saraswati statue, the wrathful deity statue. You see, you, you like there's a hundred treasures over the game, over, over the course of the game. Now this is actually honestly my first time really playing a PS4 game, and so when it said options, I didn't really know what button to press. So like. Like so options is now like this is the, what was previously known as the start button is now the options button for whatever reason. Rest in peace, buddy. I wonder if he was on the train or. Now, while there ooh, are not ma many like quick time events, I can't remember if there are that many sections where it's like like mass triangle to open the door and whatnot. That that's that stuff I also never really cared for too much. Gotta roll around, and get the body. Ooh, ooh quick on the sh quick on the draw. Like, like, will my will my shoes actually kind of? Yeah, I think it's actually the snow. On my shoes actually melted. That's, that's so cool. Like how in Uncharted One you had the whole you roll in the water and your clothes get wet. So Geronimo! That's pretty cool, isn't it? You have your fixed camera angle, but then you can just look where you want to look. Bang, 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 after bang, bang, bang. Um, <laughs> Hello. Uh, well, so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? 
You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, what? <laughs> Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. <laughs> so what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist. Find the ships and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways, and you and I just disappear. Together this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. <coughs> Trust me. How beautiful. And we're back to sleeping Nate. What was what was was it a was it a watch on our wrist there? I wonder what time it is in this cold hour of the day. But I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna call the video there, folks, just to check the footage back to make sure it looks good and whatnot. And next time we'll continue climbing this this train and Get a little more insight as to whole as to the whole this whole Marco Polo expedition looking for this magic lamp and whatnot type of thing. But uh till then folks, that's been some let's play Uncharted 2, Drake's Fortune or not Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Next time I was just I had to like think in my head to make sure that was the right one. But um that was the right subtitle, but uh till next time. Look without.